to our channel. I'm here with my friends. It's Selena. Just... And we're back. Okay, and today we're going to do a popular, unpopular opinion. I don't even know. So obviously not everyone is beautiful to me, but they're beautiful to somebody else. You know what I mean? Who I don't find beautiful is obviously probably beautiful to somebody else. Okay. Surely. Yeah, because everybody's going to find someone. Okay. So you think every single person is beautiful? Yes, in their own way and to somebody else. No, no, no. In, in general. To everyone is beautiful. <laughs> Yes, no. God's creation is beautiful. Yeah, in God's eyes, everyone is beautiful, but in your in eyes, my, in my eyes, okay. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be honest, no. Okay, no. Why? <laughs> no, come on, let's let's come on, come on. In God's eyes, everyone is beautiful. Yes, but to me, some people are not attractive, so you know, some people are. I agree. I agree. I mean, some people might find me or you or whatever beautiful or a man, or mm. like, what is that? What is that? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, okay. Is it calm if I talk, but then no one still sees me in a yeah. country? Yeah. Yeah. Because now I'm saying over there, how that person, I look like a rat. Some people like animals. <laughs> Like in the in the, in the face. No, there yeah, was this yeah. girl. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. She yeah. looked like a rat, and I was thinking I couldn't think she did. No, we no, were talking about this. And no, it's just a girl that was oh. on the park. <laughs> she like, be thinking some people. Right, you so. be thinking some people look like. Some people yeah. do look like animals. Animal, yeah. Animals. Yeah. 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 Like because of strong features or. Yeah. 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 But the other ones you also hear that like, they resemble their own animals too. Like there's people their who pets. resemble their own dogs, yeah. Oh them ones who yeah, they do. So you're saying if I get a dog now I'm gonna look like it. I feel like people are more inclined to go for an animal that looks like them. I think that's why they <laughs> I think that's why they look like them. That's also a thing with partners. You're mm -hmm. more likely to be attracted to someone who looks like you. Yeah. So people more who love dogs, kissing the dogs and all that kind of shit. <laughs> I don't yeah. think I look like Jaden. I don't look like Jaden. No, you, you don't, but you're just more likely to. Oh, okay. Doing a B tech instead of A levels makes you stupid. No. I hate. Like, how? I hate that. I'll do the same thing. Because I did two B techs, law and health and social, mm -hmm. equivalent to three, Mine three A levels. A levels. Mine was exactly. So, I just didn't want to do exams, that's why I didn't Yeah, exactly the same. I'm not good at exams. It's the same thing. I prefer assignments or coursework, da 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 so... It's the same thing, you just have to work harder with BTEC. Because yeah. you don't have exams, so you have to do harder stuff. Mm. But you have more things to mm. do. work. Yeah. yeah. So, I wish people told me that. Because when I was in A-levels, I chose hard subjects, I chose maths, <laughs> law, <coughs> psychology. Can you pass them? No. Oh. I mean, I did oh. first year. <laughs> right. First year, I passed, and then I wanted to change maths, and they were like, "No, you can't change it the day." And they were like, "Either do a B Tech, or you drop out, basically." And I was like, in my head, because obviously everyone's saying B Tech is dumb. Da, da, da. I'm like, no, I want to do B Tech. Yeah, everyone, People are gonna bully yeah, me. Everyone used to say that, but it's false. It yeah, is false. Yeah. false. Yeah. Are we not all in uni? I'm in the same place, you end up in the same place. Yeah, it's I mean, whatever is easier for you, but yeah, I still found even people are saying BTEC was always oh, dumb, it's for dumb people, it's no. it's easy. I still found it difficult, still like catching up with all your coursework, yeah, was, especially if you're behind. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I saw your coursework. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, I was doing this in my business, it was it was BTEC. I was doing my assignments after all the exams were done on my birthday, like the 20, 25th of June. Mm -hmm. Like exams were done. Mm -hmm. I was still doing still assignments. Doing, yeah. Mm. Okay. Abortion should be illegal. Um <coughs> it shouldn't be illegal. Like no. What's your business with what I do with my body? Like, it's my body at the end of the day. How does it affect you? And for example, rape. 
Yeah, really. Yeah, you're saying yeah, it's illegal and someone was raped. Nobody wants it. They don't want, let's say they don't want the child. It's true. But some, I mean, I don't know, some people who are religious can say like, oh, they can still have the kid, give them for adoption, don't kill. Da, da, true. Da. But I feel like it's one of them ones that's like, until you're in that actual position. Mm-hmm. Like, it's so easy to say, oh, yeah, bring it up. Then. Until you're in that position, until you, God forbid, let's say you've been raped. Yeah, if you've been raped, oh, you're not even in the mental state to even give exactly, birth to that child, carry exactly. that child. Traumatized. Yeah. Either way, you're going to be traumatized, not going to lie. Even if you have the abortion, you're going to be traumatized. Exactly. Yeah. Have the kids, you're going to be even more traumatized. So I don't, I don't know. What if that kid be like a lifetime reminder to mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I've seen a movie where like she that. Like that. Like that. <laughs> no, what if you give it away? Then you're raising a child who's been given away and they're thinking, why have I been given away? Why have I my parents all? And then they try and find the real pet. Then they hate you. Ooh. But then if you explain this, anyways. Then they're gonna what, hate their dad, hate a part of themselves. True. Okay, say if it wasn't rape, say it was just like, you just got pregnant. Eh, in your body. Ah, <laughs> 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 what's wrong? If you cannot bring it, you don't have the first thing, you need to be mentally stable to have financially, a financially stable. stable. Um, yeah. Yeah. Emotionally, everything. Yeah. So, guys, I mean, you shouldn't be it's having your kids, but like, if you cannot, then you don't. And anyway, yeah. the child is not a child. It's, it's a fetus. It's not. Is it even a fetus? No. At that no, stage? No. It's not even. It's no, not even no, living. It's an embryo. It's an embryo. It depends what stage. We eat eggs for breakfast. Yeah. Wait, what? We eggs. eat eggs. And I can't oh. like that. We oh, eat she does <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we eat eggs. Like, yeah, see? Yeah. So, okay. Mm-hmm. But say it feels like at the stage where it's actually so for me, me personally, I'm not going to if it's a, if I see that okay, this child is 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 breathing, it's mm-hmm. eating through yeah. me and living through me, then yeah. Okay. Then I'm not going to worry about if it's it's your choice. I don't know, man. Until I'm I mean I don't want to be in that position. <laughs> but until I'm in that position I can't, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I would say, yeah, you know, if you're not ready, you have an abortion. But then, abortion not scary to you, you know? It mm-hmm. is. Like, I don't know, it depends. Like, if it's early on, you can just take tablets. Right? Yeah, tablets. But if not, don't they, like, suck it out? Mm-hmm. And you, apparently, you bleed for, like, days or something. Yeah. And it's a bit uncomfortable, also. Yeah. Still. Our society isn't strong enough emotionally. Yeah, hundred percent. In what way? I think so. As in this like, this generation doesn't take marriage seriously. Oh, everything is a joke. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> everything but some people just a joke. What's that got to do with it? Like being emotionally strong. No, that's but not. If you're not emotionally stable yeah. in relationships. You're gonna be humble. insecure, exactly. Trust issues, insecure, yeah. all of that, all of that. We all know a relationship is bought of trust. Or so what's left? That's true. True. Just just beating, is that it? <laughs> no emotional connection, nothing. Mm-hmm. But do you think it's weaker than older generation? Yeah, look at love mm-hmm. back in the day. Look how love. excited everyone was to get married. Da, da, da. Now in one day in our parents. Yeah, for example, our parents back in the day. Yeah, back in the day, some of them had no choice. Because they were told love, like for them, it's if a man hits you, he loves you, it means he cares for you. Uh-oh. I don't really, no. I don't know about their own love. Oh, my mom would fly. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. So. I think it depends on, I don't know. But most of the time, they were taught the right way, I think. Oh, I don't think it was the right way. I just thought it was just culture. Because it's culture, it doesn't mean it's right. But yeah, that's true. I don't know. Do I don't think, think, think it was the right way. Do you think it was more about survival yeah. back then? Yeah, it was. Because back then, women, what are you? You're nothing without a man. You're nothing without a husband. True. Like, did you hear about Cardi? Like, she's divorcing her husband. And people are saying she's failed. But then she's top. Like, her music is number one in the whole country, mm-hmm. in the whole world. But then she's failed as a woman. How did she fail when she's number one? It doesn't make sense because she's divorcing her. Social media is destroying communication. 
I don't think that's true. I disagree. Do you not? Do you know what? I saw this video on Instagram and this guy, he was on his phone and then his baby was there in the push chair and then there was a car. He was on his phone, he was on his phone, he was on his phone. this car was reversed and then he hit the push chair. What's that got to do with communication though? <laughs> Yeah, okay, put it aside, <laughs> but just overall, him just being on his phone and stuff, yeah. instead of yeah. focusing, you know, being aware of his surroundings, yeah. Just... yeah, that's not communication. Yeah, though. I know, but I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, phone, okay, put communication out. phone, so he yeah. was texting or something like that, are a distraction. They okay. are, yeah, that's they are true. a distraction. But in terms but of communication, don't... I think they actually enhance it. Because if I've seen some funny video, I, I, I can't, I, I'm not an actor, I can't act it out and then tell you, oh, that was really funny, and you're, then you're going to laugh about it. We can communicate more and in more different ways and in more depth. Because if you're trying to have like, a deep conversation with someone, yeah. when you're talking, you might forget things. If you're typing it down, you remember shit, you can go back, add to it, and all this kind of thing. Yeah. Like, it, it shouldn't replace normal communication verbal, but. It adds to our levels of communication, I think. True. But I think it helps because WhatsApp is still social media, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So with WhatsApp, like people in Africa and stuff like that. Back in the day, people used to get those talk talk or oh, you know, yeah. the old yeah. card things. They cost still them money. do. <laughs> they still do. Some of yeah. them do. But most of them just like WhatsApp call each other. Like I don't like calling people, so I don't text you. Mm. It's, it's just not gonna happen. But with my grandma, she's not into texting, so I have to WhatsApp call her, or I have to do this, and like, say if it's like a birthday, family members can't see, send a video. Great, fantastic. And also, people are making money on social media. Yeah, that's true. So, I think, I don't know. In a way, it helps. In this pandemic as well, if we don't have social media, People would be going crazy because imagine they live alone. Mm. They've got no one to talk to. Now they're just stuck with their thoughts and they're just going crazy and then more suicides and just yeah. a lot. Just a lot. Mm. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you need communication also like in relationships and all that shit too. Yeah, because I don't know, like during the pandemic, I can't see my mind. Yeah, see, that's what saves Four us. Months. Yeah, so that's what saves Because if we didn't have communication, <laughs> you are the reason why your life has turned out the way it has. I can't help it. If I'm born somewhere, my parents have got no money, there's a disease, I'm dead. <laughs> like, you do contribute, but. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can't take full like, responsibility for it, yeah. I guess. Some people don't want to take responsibility. I'm willing to take a little bit, you know? Yeah. It's a little. Well, there's some people where they see the situation and just like, okay, you know, F this, like, <laughs> I'm not going to go nowhere. What's the point? Yeah. Why am I trying to waste my efforts, my time, my energy? Like, mm. And we just wait until I just. But then there's also people that have everything. And they just think that things are just gonna get handed to them and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame, but I don't blame those people. Things have been handed to them. True, but I don't know. So they expected it to be handed to them. Yeah, because it's been it's handed. A faulty, it's a bad way of thinking, but then that's their own kind of responsibility and their parents' responsibility to make sure they don't have. That's true. Yeah, but then also if their parents are like, okay, work on your own, then now they've got the mentality of like, we already have this. Why are you making me work? Mm. Now they're resenting their parents. Now they're trying to be rebellious and then just mm. end up doing drugs and stuff like that. I don't know. I think it all depends on the person again. It does. Single mothers are toxic in the development of young men. Oh, wow. Single what? Single mothers, mothers are toxic now. in the development of young men. Mm. No, of course not. No. People need to stop um, putting the whole one parent thing, you know, like that's ridiculous. Like, you, of course, there's people always say there's going to be a negative impact on the mm -hmm. child. It doesn't have to be a negative impact. That the child, what about the people who get artificial insemination? What's the mother going to say about the father? The mother doesn't know the father, so what's she going to say? Sometimes the kids like, 
what you do to me? That's weird. Why can you wait until we get a man? Da, da, da. Some kids are rude, you know. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> no. You see, it depends on the mother, on how they act. Mm. Because say it's a single mother, their partner's been left. Mm-hmm. They'll say men are trash. Men are trash always. Yeah. And they're raising a the child. This child is going to be thinking that way permanently. Mm. No matter what's up to. And some of the mothers like start hating their own kids. They start like being, why are you here? You look just like your father. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> right. I, I've seen a thing about you like you need to kind of do research into into it basically to kind of mm-hmm. suss it out but the thing that single mothers are toxic I think no toxic masculinity a link mm-hmm. between toxic masculinity and single mothers and then there's an argument that toxic masculinity is when there's an absence of the father okay. because that kind of occurs when the kid has no dad no true like masculine role model male mm-hmm. role model but like yeah i have to look into that kind of shit i think sometimes when like some men when they're brought up by single mothers they end up being more like i don't know nicer towards women yeah they are because mm-hmm. all their life like they've been nice to their mom they've been helping their mom they've they've saw their mom struggle and yeah get to they, where they I are i feel now. like they they respect more yeah more. definitely because that's the part you'd have to look at because you could go that way mm-hmm. or you could go the way of they lack the father and then that's where because they don't have ideas of what being a man is of what true masculinity is that's true. Mm-hmm. so that toxic masculinity it's not that the mother's been saying bad things about men it could just be that she doesn't herself know what masculinity is because well you could be more masculine if you're a girl but you're not a male aren't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. do you think <laughs> sons that are raised by single mothers become out, like turn out more feminine they can do but not always yeah, not i don't time. think it's got to do with um the honestly I, I don't think it's got to do with the mom like the single mother i don't know what it is i think it does yeah. it's I the energy that. they give off because yeah. if i grew up around only feminine energy chances are i'll be more feminine but not all women only have feminine energy in it yeah so is that the same as a boy who has so he has mom and dad and he has like six sisters is that the same thing more feminine energy yeah that's what i would say mm-hmm. probably my dad my dad so yeah, his old his brother is like 20 years older than me something like that all the rest are, are, are girls are sisters ah, okay. and you do say he's kind of he's got a bit of a yeah he's got like a feminine energy. nature to him we should all strive to have a relationship like the one our parents have no. No. <laughs> no. It's toxic. We learn from it, we'd have to copy it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Why? It's toxic, that's why. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> because they stay yeah. they stay when when the man cheats, they stay and then they they say we're staying because of our children. But then what are you teaching your children? Exactly. You're teaching your children to stay in a broken marriage. Like how you're not even thinking about your children. Sometimes I just think it's about sex, to be honest. Sex? Yeah, sometimes I just think it's about sex. These you people... have sex with other people. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. I, I, mean, I mean, yeah, it depends on the what the upbringing you have like, yeah. like what you've seen from your parents if i've seen oh a perfect loving that's what i that's what i strive for but if you're seeing your parents argue all the time fighting your your dad's cheating all the time you don't want that for your yeah. own marriage at all in psychology though basically we've got like when we're younger we form like an internal framework of how we think relationships should be and how love should be Mm-hmm. And then if your parents are kind of toxic or they cheat or this and that, you frame an internal like thing about this is how a relationship should be. Mm-hmm. So you actually kind of, people actually do look out for, they try to make their relationships what their parents were, whether or not it's toxic or not. Mm-hmm. So people do do that, but it's not always a good thing and not everyone does it. Some people can kind of go against it if they know that that's mm-hmm. the case. Because that's why there's kind of a relationship between people who've kind of been in abusive like when, when a, ch- a child has been abused or this kind of thing and then when they seek out partners the partners tend to like end up being abusive yeah just yeah. because of that framework okay but like 
Does that only happen when you think that behavior is right? Or? It's internalized. When you're young, when you're young, it's internalized. This is what you think is normal. Mm -hmm. Just like your racism thing. Yeah. There's mm. kids who think being racist is normal, which yeah. is not. It's not acceptable. They think it's acceptable. They've just yeah. grown up tolerating it. Do you think, like, say if you get in a relationship, because they say, like, you try and find, say if you're a girl, you try and find someone like your dad, or like a guy, you try and find someone. Complex, yeah. Do you think that's a true thing? Because I'm able to identify it, <laughs> it's not true. I'm yeah. not looking for someone yeah. who's like my dad. Okay, what about like, the good things? Some people do. In... Of course, everybody wants you. You're going to take out the good and mm -hmm. then separate the bad. If you're able to identify it, you separate it, you know? Yeah. So do you think we nitpick like, what we like about our parents and try and adapt it mm -hmm. to the relationship that we want? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Agree. You can't be spiritual and be a Christian. All these things spiritual. Yeah, like spiritual as in like crystals and like... No, you can't. That's that's witchcraft. That's <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't see it as witchcraft. I, the, I, the, the, the Bible says it. You see, yeah. even things like horoscopes and stuff in the Bible. So you think it's fake? Yeah. Yeah. That was the last. I mean, I believe. I, I, I could think. I mean, if you can think yeah. of any, I, I don't think it's fake. I believe in a lot of things. I believe in the devil. I believe in demons. yeah. Like I believe in like um a spirit. Like there's a spiritual warfare battle going on. Like yeah. as we speak and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe in a lot of things. I mean, why can't it be real? Yeah, it's a possibility. So. So if it was okay. So it could be real. If it was real, would you go and check no. it out? No. 